大家好，我是卡拉，欢迎收听今天的早安英文。And this is Dylan. Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Okay, <laughs> so Dylan, since you live in China, how do you stay in touch with your friends back home? Uh, I actually talk to them every day, either by WeChat or by Xbox. By Xbox, <clears throat> yeah, buddy. You're very funny, huh? So, uh, I didn't know they use WeChat in America. They usually don't, but I made them download it and add me as a friend. We were pretty close homies, so they didn't mind learning how to use it for me. Oh, yeah. You guys sound like pretty good buddies. <laughs> <laughs> so, how long have you known your mates? Nearly twenty years. Wow. We were all childhood friends in elementary school. So you guys can guess each other's age. Yeah. What's that、uh-huh. supposed to mean? Okay, okay, okay. I'm thirty. Explain. 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 This might be a good thing to talk about today. Hmm,、mm. I agree. Yeah. So there's so many ways to say friend in English. It's mind-boggling. Did you know my name actually means friend in Gaelic? Gaelic. Yeah, which is actually like a, an old archaic form of Ir- Irish. Irish. Then its meaning is friend, right? Yeah. Ah,、oh, I didn't know that. Yep. Ah,、uh, 那我们今天呢就要跟大家来聊一聊和这个 Gaelic 和这个朋友有关的一些英文表达 So depending on the degree of the, the degree of your friendship, what you call them will change. What you call your friends will change, and can even change on where you met the person. 嗯，就是你对这个朋友的这个称呼的方式呢，可能会根据你们的熟悉程度，或者说你们在遇见的那个场所而变化。是什么意思呢？ If you、uh, if you and the other person are somewhat new friends, you'll need to use use words that are less colloquial, words like friend, acquaintance, or buddy. Ah,、uh, 就是说，如果说你和这个人啊，就是刚认识不久，或者说还不是那么的熟悉的时候呢，那么你这个描述的方式啊，就要 less colloquial， 就是不要那么那么的随意。呃、uh, ，比如说，你可以讲他是你的 friend， 这个是大家都知道的朋友，或者呢叫做 acquaintance， 这个是呃、嗯 uh, 叫做点头之交，或者说见面打招呼，打个招呼就这种熟悉程度的朋友，或者呢叫 buddy， 就是兄弟。If you meet this person at work, the words you use to describe your relationship. Is going to is going to change. These words include peer, associate, colleague, or partner. 嗯，这这个呢，就是我们刚刚讲说，啊、呃，你会根据你认识这个人的场所的不同呢，来变换这个称呼他的方式。那么就是说，同事啊，你们是在工作场所认识的。那对于同事呢，我们可以讲 peer。Peer 这个词呢，它可以表示同一类的人，或者说同一辈或者地位相同的人，所以呢，用它来称呼同事是非常合适的。那接下来 ，associate 这个词的意思呢？ Yeah. <笑>做做名词的时候啊，它的意思是啊、呃，这个同事或者伙伴或者合伙人。那接下来 ，colleague 这个大家应该都知道了，就是同事 ，partner 伙伴。And if you and your friends are very close, you can use one of the following: brother. Main man, sister, best friend, or homie. 嗯，接下来就是关系非常亲近的朋友呢。你可以说兄弟姐妹嘛 ，brother or sister， 或者呢叫 main man， yeah， 就是非常重要的一个人对你来说。然后呢 ，best friend， 最好的朋友 ，homie 就是兄弟。Yeah， <laughs> but but if you're really really close, you can basically use anything. Like I could say,、uh. hey, what up, ho? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Just> 瞎说。<laughs> so let's go over some vocabulary. 嗯。Friend, 朋友 acquaintance, 点头之交 Uh, this is usually used in a business setting. Okay,、mm. buddy, 兄弟 peer, 同事 So peer can be used in a business or a college or school setting. 嗯，就是刚刚我讲的同级的人、同辈的人都可以用这个词 Associate, 同事 colleague, 同事 
<laughs> I guess they do kind of mean the same thing. Yes. But they're both used in a business sense.、Mm. So at work, you would use these. Okay.、Mm-mm. Partner. Partner 就是合作伙伴 So partner can mean a business partner, but it can also mean someone that is your significant other. Hmm. My my、so、lover. Your life partner. Yeah, my life partner. <laughs> 对 Brother. 兄弟 Main man. 这是你非常好的朋友，非常重要的人 Sister. 姐妹 Best friend. 最好的朋友 And homie. Homie 是兄弟 So in China, do you guys think that a group of friends has different types of people in it? What do you mean? Like. Each group has the leader, the person who is always late, or the ladies' man. The ladies' man. Yeah. 是说非常 sissy 的 man， 还是说呃、uh, people who are attracted to women? Like, like a a boy who is attractive to girls. Oh. Yeah. So, ladies' man 就是那种非常受女性欢迎的男人 Yes, we do. What types of personalities does your groups have? Uh. Well, we have the bookworm, the leader, the comedian, and the tech savvy one. Ah.、Uh, and then we also have a big friend who breaks everything he touches because he's like so big, <laughs> <laughs> like tall. So, which one are you? I'm not telling. You have to guess. I guess you're the dork. Good call. Yeah. <laughs> I'm. A, I, I think I'm the only one of my friends who went to college. So. That makes me the dork. Yeah. 那给大家解释一下，刚刚讲的就是说，呃，我们在一个圈子里面啊，就每个人他都有一个自己的怎么说呢？非常特定的形象。比如说呢，这个人他是我们这个团队的领导者，或者说那个人呢是哎非常帅的、非常受欢迎的那个男生。那再比如说有 bookworm， 就是那种很爱读书的书虫。然后呢，这个 the leader 就是领导者 ，the comedian 就是那个怎么说开心果那个笑料。然后呢 ，the tech savvy。Tech savvy, he like he's good with computers. 嗯，就是有一种那种技术宅的感觉。嗯 ，so these are some types of personalities that most groups of friends have. Okay. 嗯 ，so the drunk. The drunk people who are always drunk. Yeah, they like to drink alcohol. <laughs> 就是那种酒鬼。Yeah, the mass texter. So no matter whatever they're doing, they're always texting on their phone. If they're driving, eating lunch. Watching、uh, a movie. Just they're always on their phone. Yes. Ah,、uh, 就是那种呃。Uh, 怎么说呢？热爱手机，狂爱手机，永远在玩手机，永远在发消息的人。Yeah, the planner. This type of person always plans things in advance, and sometimes they'll even have a schedule. And thank God, my group of friends doesn't have this. <laughs> and do they really stick to it? Yeah, I'm sure they do. There's a reason why they do it. <laughs> <laughs> the planner 就是那种狂爱、热爱做计划的人，安排好一切的事情。The silent leader. Ah,、uh, 就那种默不作声的那种领导者 The mooch. The mooch. Yeah. I think you need to explain it. So this one means it's someone who's always borrowing something from you and never giving it back, <laughs> or always asking for like, "Hey, can I get five bucks? I'll pay you back whenever." But they never pay you back. <laughs> 这种人真的好讨厌。Yeah. 这个词是 M O O C H. The mooch.、Mm-hmm. 就是那种总是找你借东西，找你要东西，然后承诺说还给你，然后永远都不会还的那种人。The destructive one. Destructive 就是那种破坏性的、毁灭性的。所以是什么意思呢 ？This is the type of person who breaks everything they touch.、Uh, yeah. 就是就是刚刚讲那种就是大块头，然后碰什么东西什么东西坏的那种。The destructive person, the destructive one. Yeah. The negative Nancy. So the negative Nancy is the type of person who always says no to everything. Let's go watch a movie. Nah. Let's go out to eat. Nah. <laughs> Let's go play a video game. Nah. But why Nancy? <laughs>、uh, I don't know. Because if you call a boy a girl's name in in America,、uh, it's kind of insulting.、Insult. Yeah.、Uh, 好，所以这个 the negative Nancy 就是那种永远在说不，任何的提议他都否决的那种人。The disappearing act. This is the person who always disappears at a party or an event. And then mysteriously shows up at the end of the night. 神出鬼没的那种人 <laughs> Yeah.、Uh, Now this one's my favorite. This is the one I am. Yeah, I think you are. The slut. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's appropriate to say this in a podcast? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean,、uh, we're li- the they're all adults. <laughs> you guys are all big boys and girls, right? All right. It was、uh, a joke. The、uh, slut. Uh, uh, slut. 这个词呢。呃、uh, ，中文给大家翻译一下，不好意思啊，我是直接念的词典里面这个意思，叫做荡妇。Yeah. <laughs> 所以呢 ，the slut 就是哎呦，你这个小淫荡鬼。<laughs> the one that no one really likes. Oh. Yeah. 
，呃，就是那种大家都在一起在背后议论他坏话，所有人都不喜欢的那个人。And the last one is the man magnet or the chick magnet. 嗯 ，magnet 这个词呢是磁铁的意思，所以 the man magnet 就是指那种、yeah. 呃很受男生很受异性追捧的女性。然后呢，这里的这个 chick 其实就是 girl 啊、yeah. 呃，所以就是很受女生欢迎的男生。And these are the types of people that are always attractive to other people,、mm. and the type of people that make me really jealous. And the type of people that no one really likes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and hey,、uh, text us in and tell us what person or personality you think you are within your group. Okay. 嗯，大家可以评论告诉我们，就是在你的那个社交圈里面，你是属于哪一类人呢？最好用英文告诉我们。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语、听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于。And this has been Dylan. You guys have a good day, okay? 嗯，我们今天节目到这儿了，拜拜，拜拜，拜拜。